We will start where our curiosity about hydroponic food production started, my home. In 1981, I built a small hydroponic greenhouse in the outer battery. In Newfoundland, greenhouses are ravished by the brutal winter conditions. To produce vegetables all year long here in a greenhouse, you must have very durable structures and all of the right lighting, heating, cooling, irrigation and computer equipment. Unfortunately, due to the high capital cost of such equipment and the very high operating costs associated with running such equipment, greenhouse operations in this province are seasonal because they lose money if they operate all year long. The two small greenhouses at our home are still in production during five months of summer. Last year, we produced in excess of 2,000 pounds of cucumber. To date, we have built seven 100% artificially lit lettuce production systems and we have participated in several large controlled environment food production projects. Our evolution can be seen in much more detail on our website www.thelettucefarm.com. In 1997, we purchased a 38,000 square foot warehouse on 61 Hamilton Avenue. We deployed an artificial lighting system in the basement of the front portion of the property. An American company, Advanced Lighting Technologies Incorporated, agreed to finance the lighting equipment and to participate with the system's design in return for comparative analysis data on various lamp types they had designed. Together, we built the world's largest 100% artificially lit farm. We have no bank or government debt and we are 100% privately funded. Last year, the Lettuce Farm was cited in the ninth edition of the Illuminating Engineering Society of North America's Lighting Handbook, and we qualified under Revenue Canada's Scientific Research and Experimental Development Program. Advanced Lighting Technologies is publicly traded on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. They are very excited about our food production franchise concept. We have been communicating directly with Mr. Wayne Hellman, the President and CEO of Advanced Lighting Technologies Incorporated. He has provided valuable input on the next phase of testing at Hamilton Avenue and on the design and upcoming construction of a new farm in Building 1014 East White Hills Road. On March 22nd this year, we scheduled a teleconference with Mr. Hellman so that he could participate in this video. Okay. Um, I'm Wayne Hellman, of course, CEO of uh, Advanced Lighting Technologies, and Venture Lighting is the uh, subsidiary of Advanced Lighting Technologies that focuses on the production and design of the metal halide light bulb and the power supply itself. Um, Venture Lighting is a leader in the metal halide industry. Uh, we've designed about 75% of all the metal halide lamps that exist in North America and that includes uh, General Electric, Philips, Siemens, uh, which markets under the Osram brand, and Venture Lighting. So 75% of all the types we have designed in the last 15 years. Um, we are committed to not only making more and more products, but in expanding the metal halide applications itself, uh, essentially using metal halide for more and more things, not only retail, street lighting, but uh, food production. And that's why we're so interested in working with you uh, to show that metal halide, as I know, uh, simulates sunlight far better than any other lighting technology. So it's obvious to me it should produce food better than any other lighting technology. Um, in 1998, we consulted uh, with you on a design of a lighting system for the lattice farm. And we agreed to finance that lighting equipment for the lattice farm. Now what's exciting, to date we have supplied the Lettuce Farm with five metal halide designs, each unique designs that we've tailored the spectral output of those products to try to work with you to determine which is optimal for uh, lettuce production. This month we've agreed, uh, Sunmaster, our division of Venture Lighting, has agreed to finance on a pay-as-you-grow program, which we've worked out with you an additional 200 ballast lamps and fixtures for the lettuce farm. And we'll not only be supply the lamps, but this time we're gonna supply the new vertical 450 watt uniform pulse start uh, system. And the new reflector combined with a vertically mounted lamp and our uniform pulse start product, we believe will deliver increased efficiencies and ultimately healthier, heavier uh, plants. 
This fall, uh, we're going to collaborate with you on, the, uh, in, on a series of lighting trials in the new farm, which is being built by, uh, by you in an underground building in White Hills, St. Uh, John's, Newfoundland. And Venture Lighting is very interested in the proposal to produce food through metal halide lighting. The plans to deploy energy efficient metal halide lamps in underground tunnels is extremely unique and very exciting. And I believe that since metal halide simulates sunlight better than any other technology, you can do this without sunlight. It's no wonder that Venture is excited to be part of this joint effort and will continue to participate in the development of your food production franchise program with not only technical expertise, but hopefully with our unique outsourcing uh, uh, lighting equipment program. Sounds great. This month, we successfully negotiated several lease agreements with Public Works and Government Services Canada. The leases grant 20 years access to a former water tank now known as Building 1014, an ammunition storage bunkers 1004, 1005, 1007, and 1008. The production system planned for Building 1014 will be the company's first prototype franchise. We have enough irrigation equipment on hand to deploy hydroponic cropping systems similar to the Hamilton Avenue site in both water tanks and in all four bunkers. Our equipment, when combined with advanced lighting technologies offered to finance and the overwhelming demand for our produce, makes us very eager to increase our production capacity and to secure as much underground heat sink space as possible. These are the South Side Hills, located on the south side of the St. John's Harbour, five minutes from Hamilton Avenue. The British military constructed an ammunition storage site in these hills between World Wars I and II. There are five large caverns under the hills. Each 2,500 square foot cavern is at the end of its own 500 foot long access tunnel. The tunnels and caverns have been abandoned for approximately 50 years. In 1994, Newfoundland Geosciences confirmed that the site was structurally sound prior to Snellen Holdings leasing the caverns and the Ellis property for controlled environment mushroom production. About a year later, Snellen Holdings agreed to transfer the lease to Compost Incorporated, Newfoundland's second commercial mushroom farm. In May of 1997, I sold my 21% interest in Compost Incorporated and returned to hydroponic food production by purchasing the 61 Hamilton Avenue property. This site could be an invaluable facility for us. 450 foot under the hilltop and 4 to 500 foot back set from the road, the temperature in these caverns is constantly 9 degrees Celsius. We have designed an electric lighting system which when deployed will see the temperatures inside climb to exactly 20 degrees Celsius. As long as heat from a lighting system does not exceed the constant heat sink capacity of a cavern or bunker, then no cooling or heating systems are required. The need for environment control computers is also replaced with a logic control system. 